Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brendan from Modern to Me, and today we are straying away from classes a little bit, and we're gonna be talking about something called Boolean variables. Boolean variables are a primitive data type in Java, so it's not like a string or a class where you're creating a class instance. It's a very basic data type. And there are only two possible values for this data type. Like we've had ints are only, they are restricted to whole numbers, positive or negative, including zero, and doubles can be any sort of number with a decimal and floats the same, while Boolean variables only have two possible values, and it is not, they are not numbers. They are true and false. So Boolean variables kind of go hand in hand with those control flow statements we've been talking about, like if statements and while loops. So let's get started trying to create one of these Boolean variables. I am opening up the person class that we typed up earlier, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a instance variable to the person's class to the person class called gender. So I'm gonna make it private. When you want to make a Boolean variable, you type Boolean. You see that's in purple, so we know we're all good. And I'm just going to name it gender. So that right there, this means that we are going to have actually let's let's name this male. And what we're going to do is we're going to see that this is going to have a, ver a value of true or false. So it's going to either be true that it's a male or false that if it's a male. And if it's false, then it's going to be a female, obviously. So let's at fix this constructor here to, to reflect our new instance variable. And we're going to have a parameter called Boolean male. And well, I guess we'll name it my male that's what I did with the rest of them and then I will set male equal to my male and what this is going to do is it's going to take this parameter and set it equal to our male variable now back in the say hello function we are going to print out the gender so to do this let's just test if male is equal to true so what this is going to test is, is it's going to test if our male variable is equal to the value of true. We're going to print out, I'm a boy. And we'll just go print ln. And then else, just go system.out.println. I'm a girl. Okay. And I'm going to add some some curly braces because I think it looks nicer when you do that. And there we go. And oops. And there we go. So now we have our say hello method updated to reflect this change in person. Okay. So now let's create one of these bad boys. Let's type person. We'll name this one Mike equal to new person and now we have our new constructor and we have to remember that the first parameter is my name so we'll go Mike the second parameter was age we'll go 17 and then the last parameter was this male boolean variable so remember that I could either type true or I could type false if I typed false that would be female and I'm pretty sure Mike's a male so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go, oops, I'm gonna type true. Okay. And now just for kicks, let's make, let's make Jill. And we'll set Jill equal to a new person named Jill. Bet you didn't see that one coming. And she'll be 25. And we'll set male equal to false. And now if you remember in the say, or not in the say hello, in the constructor, which is always called when you create instances of classes this say hello method the say hello method gets called so we don't have to explicitly call this again otherwise all of these would get called twice so let's run this we'll see hi hi mike i'm a boy oh <laughs> i guess we should say you're a boy but you get the you get the point mike's a boy jill's a girl and all things are great they know what genders they are so that's a very practical use of the boolean variable. You might do stuff with this in your own games that have really two possible values. If you have something like male and female, male and female, maybe 
hostile and non-hostile, stuff like that. It's really great to use these Boolean variables. I definitely use these a lot in my games. And when you get to that point, I encourage you to do the same. So I will see you guys in next tutorial where we learn something awesome. Peace out.